What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Breaking Through Podcast. Cheers. Let's get right into it. The first topic of discussion, let's talk about Modern Warfare in general. As a Call of Duty, I think it's kind of a unanimous decision here amongst all of us it that is it's the worst ever. It? Fresh. Just the, the game in general. Every, everybody's going to say the same thing. It's dog shit. Call dog shit? Dog shit? Warzone, or Warzone, Warzone saves, saves the game. Saves Warzone saves the game. The game looks the game. great. But it, it feels a little weird. But there's pubs are unplayable. Competitive sucks. Dead silence. I don't know. To, I don't know if it was just the start, but at the start, I loved S and I loved the whole Same. dead silence play. I loved it all. Mm. I, mean, I don't know if it I just got. We, I think we were just good. I mean, honeymoon probably, honey, stage. Yeah. Probably the honeymoon stage. Man. Yeah, yeah, but, that's what I was gonna say. Were there, every Call of Duty feels amazing. Has, has there always been MP5 and M4 the entire game? Yeah, yeah. the Uzi. Pretty much. Uh, For the most part. Uh, M- MP7 a mean, little I bit. I messed right around with it. MP7. I messed around with the M13 and S and D, but it eventually came down. M4. Yeah, and a lot of people use that's the about it. M4, MP5. Start. Yeah, for like the first no, day. So. <laughs> I think it was first day, but it was not good. My bad. My bad. Burst was like weird. Like I feel like it feels like it would one burst all the time, but. And, and it had a, it had a that. lot of it had a lot of recoil for a burst weapon. Yeah, um, it had like too much of like a delay between bursts, in my opinion, for it to be good. But it wasn't like I did. I, M8 were just fucking constant. But yeah. I almost I tried to compete at the beginning. This was one Call of Duty where it. Oh, yeah, I remember. You I wanted to punch my monitor every time I played it. Just didn't feel good at all. Yeah, it spawns. I yeah, it was spawns literally like I, if I was if I was game. like playing Black Ops Two pubs when I was like dog me. That's how I felt this whole entire competitive game. It was like I had no idea where spawns were. I was like, didn't. I just felt so lost. It was like it wasn't. That, it wasn't normal. It's like everything that you learned in the past three, four Call of Duty's, however long you've been playing, has just been thrown out the window. Literally, you would hold spawns yeah, one it, area. It, doesn't even matter. They're still going to spawn there, no matter what. Yeah, the anchor Nothing applies gone. at all. It was like a whole brand new game. Fucking suck. Yeah. They implemented that entire silence. new, that entire new squad spawn system, which they created for ground war and their bigger modes. I don't remember, like 12, 12 v twelve, right, or ten v ten, whatever it was off the yeah. start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they, they designed their those, spawn yeah. system around that. And they implemented that into the competitive modes, and that completely ruined the entire spawn system. Yeah. Spawning right on top of people. Okay, I, did, I didn't know before because I wasn't going over, I wasn't going over vods or anything. But after watching the CDL progress, it was like seeing how many times you would have to fight a team to even try to break spawns. Like you're just clashing, yeah. clashing, 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 and then by the time you break spawns, it's time to rotate. <laughs> There's no point. And that's what recently with us going back to playing a little bit of eights on Black Ops 4 and World War 2, just the first game of Hardpoint on Black Ops 4 instantly, you just feel that like you, you're the early team to rotate and you lose the first gunfight, you spawn out and Mm -hmm. you're punished for it. You're not just, you're not spawning 30 feet away from the hill and just double tack sprinting, slide canceling right back into it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Holding your spawn Uh, with two seconds left. uh, Yeah. S and D, I don't, I don't, I don't even know if S and D was necessarily good. I, I think we we're in that honeymoon phase. Yeah. And now was, that I think yeah. about it, it was better at the start of the game too because there was less exploit. Like, other than Dallas Empire and I think Phase, no one knew about the slide cancel, so that wasn't happening. Yeah. And and the start of S and D, I don't know if it's because Dead Silence just made you faster, but I didn't like having not not have Dead Silence like in general, but there was just something about at the start when it made you faster. I felt like making plays with that was like elite. That's why I like Destiny in this uh, game. Same. But then, but then they that took was, it off. That was definitely fun. Yeah, then they took it off and it was your, your, your normal pace. So Yeah, a bunch of the plays I made. It's fun, like but it wasn't yeah. going to do anymore. It, just... it was just inconsistent. 
That's all it was. I mean, it, it was fun when you were on the side, like the good side of it. And you're like behind the team. You just pop a four piece. Like, yeah. What let's you, go. Let's go. But what do you guys think of doors? There's probably doors, doors, right? To go. Yeah, I agree. Should have never have been a thing. I think it was a thing because of Warzone. Yeah. Most likely. Probably. And then, uh, yeah. during champs, what a you're able to lock doors. Yeah, and, and they said that yeah, was a that was or something trash. like that. That was, that was a thing the whole time. Yeah, wasn't it some, yeah but wasn't it I think like, only Dallas really knew about that. Yeah, it was like you throw a smoke at it or something. It was something like that. I don't yeah, like I, it. I think you crack it, it open it on one it. side, and then you go on the opposite side and like push it in to where it looks closed, but it's not technically closed, and you can't open it. That was just mm -hmm. trash. That whole thing right there with uh, competitiveness, people keeping secrets, like the slide cancel with Dallas and Faith at the start, and then yeah. locking the doors. And then the glitch where the fucking, you died and you got to see everybody on your mini map. Trash. That was, that was so trash. Fun. And it took a while for them to actually patch it, which was and, ridiculous. Isn't that like every single COD, every single year? I swear no, it wasn't like that every not, year. No. This, this was a different one because you could like you could press the start menu to see your full minimap and it showed mm -hmm. where your killer was like their red dot and it was moving okay. so you knew exactly where they were that's yeah, definitely been a just... thing in the past though it has been before, yeah but yeah. it's not it's not like an every cod thing i don't yeah. think i think it was like black ops or something. yeah what well, what made this one like worse than all the rest is it's when they were playing online so nobody knows if you're not streaming nobody knows that you're using that glitch and if they were on LAN, of course, they have like the refs and stuff that's there behind them, so they would have known. But that's what it, just made this over. Was there drama the that edge. people were thought people were doing that? Yeah. Oh, there, uh, there was. I, it wasn't it was, during the. I don't think it was during the league. I don't know if there. Was there even matches around then? I'm pretty sure there was. It I'm happened? pretty sure there was one event that people knew about it. But did they have perspectives of everyone? Yeah, even when it was. Online? Yeah, but you can't click start and see, or you don't see when they click start. If you're online and you're on Codcaster, you don't see when they quit start. Okay. So then nobody it, knew. I don't even know how you could enforce it though, because yeah, I mean you're just pressing pause, really. Yeah. Could Did be they use, in a class and uh, you see anybody. Cronus Maximus or whatever the hell I forgot yeah. what the fuck it's called. Did they use Cronus that this year? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. that's one of the online. huge benefits of moving towards PC here in the future is we don't have to yeah, deal that's with. Be nice. Because uh, hopefully PlayStation Five in general doesn't have that issue anyways. With them moving yeah. to like USB C connectors and hopefully yeah. moving away from like a total Bluetooth connection because that's what PS4 tried to do, and that that issue will get panned out, which is nice. It'll it'll be a more consistent experience for everyone because I I remember when that first started all the way back in UMG South Carolina Black Ops Three I believe right was the first event on PS4, the first major sure, event. I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, I I I believe it was because that's when. They played strictly Bluetooth, and oh. it was terrible. I think people put an asterisk. Oh, okay, hold on. I remember the Bluetooth thing. Yeah, I remember, they made, they made, yeah, I remember. They made, like perimeters around the fucking uh, desk yeah, yeah, and shit, yeah, like yeah. The stations and stuff. Yeah, where'd you? Yeah. 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 I remember. They like, had everybody turning that, off Bluetooth that, uh, on their phones. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, that happened at, uh, at, at, at freaking. Yeah, that happened at a clutch land in Black Ops Three. Remember, it was Manny, bro. He turned around. He's like, "Bro, does somebody have Bluetooth on?" Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was I like "No, no, that, we're bro. good." I walked away, and I was like, "Yeah." Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Twitch lands, dude. Yeah. Wait, what you, did you guys were there when the AC broke, right? Or no? Yes. Marcus yeah, was. was. Terrible. I don't know. I was, was Brian there? I, was, we, I, I didn't sure know I Brian. There. I didn't really know Brian. I yet. went to most of them. I went to three. Brian, Brian was... I would always say I you didn't go to the. Hey, you didn't go to the Xbox one. I didn't though. go to AW. Or, yeah. And I and I AW. I went to one, one in AW and I don't even dude. Fucking. We played against. I forgot their name. Jake would know it because Jake almost fought him. Uh. But they used the TAC-19, or what was the shotgun? TAC-19, yeah. Was it TAC-19? Yeah. TAC-19, and they had and uh, an assault <laughs> drone. They were using streaks. Uh, it was uh... Yeah, because it wasn't technically banned. That's that's another that thing that I'm glad Call of Duty's coming further along with, is getting a stable rule set and getting it out quicker. Because yeah. 
past cards aw and previous that was so frustrating you would play like four or five different rule sets and some of them would just have the worst things allowed the worst did you guys did you like the abandoned protect system yeah. in black ops 3 no not at I all pers i personally wasn't it took a fan. way too long <laughs> no especially it's when a cool idea troll. but like, i felt i felt People would troll and just ban like all subs entirely, or like. And, and <laughs> I'm then, trying like, to have fun. You, like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like me, me, me Todd got trolled by our own teammates, but like in actual like LAN events, I'm gonna just troll and ban all the ARs or all the subs. Oh, and it's kind of yeah. Cool. That that happened to me. That's where they hit. Because people can scrim with a different sub. Yeah, I was shit. playing. Uh, fuck. I was playing Ben's team at the LAN, and they banned all the ARs except for the S13. Literally all the RRs. Then Ben's like, Ben's like, oh, dude, we're gonna. Oh, what do you say? Yeah, Ben's like, oh, we're gonna take you out of the map, dude. And I dropped like forty-five on him in the hard point with the S13. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. dude. I think uh, our first, our first place win that we went. You go ahead. Go I'm... ahead. <laughs> 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 no, I was just gonna say that I remember watching Brian play, and he was using the X, whatever the hell it was, and uh. Other than you guys lost, you guys couldn't get like two points. No, that was that was the next series. I was like, that was the next series, but you were also using that gun in there. I remember. Yeah, they banned the M8. Unless... It was yeah. the Shiva. We were able to use the Shiva and the F13. Oh, you should have been using the Shiva. I tried. I was getting shit on. Yeah, I I don't think Banner Berserk is gonna work in FPS games. It's Bro, not le it's not League of no. Legends. So yeah. It's not. Like, yeah. Yeah. League of Legends, there's. It's, uh, it's a cool idea, but it doesn't games, belong. Uh, but yeah, there's not 50 different viable weapons in COD. The, the only way I, I see it working ARs. is if if it's a first-person shooter like Valorant, where they're incorporating the operator abilities yeah. and that kind of thing. Hold on, hold on. I had to play with the fucking Pharaoh, dude. That four-round burst stuff. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that thing was nasty. everything. Yep. No, yeah. Like the chicken. Yeah. Dude, I was <laughs> getting fried. I was. The chicken. I was playing. Uh, <laughs> I was playing. Uh, Jake. Jake Reflex. You guys know who that is? I've heard of him. Yeah. yeah he used to be an AI. He quit in a while. And. Uh, dude, I was getting shredded that series. That was finals, and finals was like going on at like 9 p.m. I don't know what was going on. But we were. Everybody was exhausted. We were in our second best of five, and I just. I was sick of that gun. I was getting fried. I don't. I can, couldn't use that gun. Dude, not like and protect, bro. Really, every line I went to, I've choked. Like, and I've choked like two forty leads to like two forty to like. What did we just lose this last one? And fucking Black Ops Four. We were up two thirty something oh, to like. To forget. Oh yeah, but bro, that's because we played. We played a team oh, that they... they. I know they. Fucking. Threw GAs out the window. Yeah, we, the map, we, 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 agreed, we agreed to GAs before the match, and then Bart, they were down, and they I put them out. Yeah. Well, Bart, I'll tell you right now, and it's always happened, it's been one fucking person. Or, so, the first time I lost, it was like 240, I need, or 248, I needed two points, dude. We gave them strap. I'm the only one that rotated. Three of my teammates pushed old, so I was fighting a 1v3 and new. Lost because of that. Uh... And then just this last one, even Muffin was says that it, it was his fault. Muffin didn't even fucking rotate. Muffin rotated to the wrong fucking hill, dude. He rotated <laughs> to P1 instead of going back statue. Fuck us there. I've been fucked by not rotating every time I've been to a land. Or clutch. Every time. It fucking sucks. Let me get you to a major, bro. <sighs> Have you ever been to a major, Brian, or no? No. Oh. Major too. It's a, it's a whole yeah, new can... world. Nope. Really? Wow. Uh, I was I was talking to me and Mike were talking about events last night, mm -hmm. and uh, we were talking about Dallas mainly, and the bomb threat and shit went off in World War Two. Uh, I told him about my series in Vegas, bro. I was so hyped. It dropped like freaking like fifty. My first hard point. Land. Oh, this was this was you. This was uh, this was IW. Okay, this was Vegas. You, Tyler, Apoc. And Andy. Andy. I wish I had the experience uh, like dude. you in your first match. Bro, I was so nervous. 
Like I was I was shaking while I was playing. I was shaking, and then once I got like ten kills, I was like, all right, this shit's slight. Job fifty. I don't know what the hell we were doing in S and D. Then we lost the uplink. Went won our second series, third series, bro. Pre seek uplink. I told Mike, <laughs> you know, uh, like white going to like the street. There's the white hall from ball, and then there's street. Mm -hmm. We were taking ball. We were going there, but we lost our gunfights. I was like, all right, well, we're just gonna spawn like by our point. 20 seconds uh, at that point it's probably like 15 seconds left and we're tied <laughs> and we spawn all the way on their side of cat with the statue so they're all the way china and we're trying to like run back and i'm just seeing the hot like the ball carrier just go through china go through china and i see him dunk it with like three seconds left they got up and started screaming at me i was like oh my god bro i i've never been so disappointed <laughs> What tower was your first lane? Yeah. My, major, first, first my first major lane was was Infinite Warfare Atlanta. I was teaming with Reese. Uh, Vios was his name at the point. Gage. He's got, he switched his name like a hundred times on Twitter. And then Josh. And honestly, the writing was on the wall during the practices and stuff. Like we would get smoked and even like pro points and stuff. And we went, our first ever match was against Sour. So at the time it was uh, Phenom, Storied, and then I think it was like Mike Season. I don't remember who the fourth was. But so they were a pretty solid established AM team. Like they've been competing since Black Ops 2 and stuff. And wow, what a, what a wake up call that was. The first hard point, I think, I think I started off decent. Like I was like five and five, but I was like, dang, we're getting smoked. Like we haven't got any hill control at all. And I pull up the scoreboard and literally everyone was getting smoked and then one of the players he didn't call out until later in the game he's like yo i'm a 110 <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was his first call out i was like oh no so we got we got smoked there and then we won our next match because losers bracket like if you're in losers round one at open yeah. bracket you play you play some you really play bad lot. competition yeah. like you, you, sh you should not be there you should not be there but and then we won that one. And then the next the next round, we actually played against um, Robbie B before he was known. This was this was the event where he started to gain traction. That's, yeah, that's where he blew up. Yeah, so it's crazy. We lost 2-1, we lost and we probably should have won. Uh, well, I think we should have won the uplink. I think it ended up pretty close. We kind of got dominated in the hard point, and then we won the search. But... Uh, they they didn't feel as dominant as Sour did, but I don't think any of the players that he played with were really went on to do anything besides Robbie. And then they ended up losing the round after that. So it's just crazy to see that, like at one point I was that close in competition with Robbie B, and he turned out to be like this close to the pro league at one point. So is yeah. is he still player? Is he done now? I so he, he, he took a break and good year to do it with, yeah good year to do it he kind of got shredded and got a girlfriend and now he's gonna come back so mike what was your first major my first major was vegas on uh infinite so like the first event so hey same first event i played a local in black ops 3 we got smoked there but and then in, in infinite we won round one and then played splice round two on like the side stage. And that's whenever all like the European teams had to go through open. It, it was not good. And I was telling uh, Marcus last night that Taven was on our team and Cloud9. I think I think it was Cloud9 because Aix was on that team. And there was like sitting right behind yeah. us and Taven kept moving his chair and Aix turned around and started screaming, stop moving your fucking chair. During the game, I started talking. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. But yeah, and then after that, we yeah, just dude, people losers. because of pro points, because there was like no cap in IW. Yeah, we grinded uh, pro points, and we had a 14th seed, and nobody knew who the fuck we were. They're, they're like Vatic Gaming. Who's Vatic Gaming? We we searched Vatic Gaming on Twitter. And everybody, they're like, we think they're a European top ham team or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, nobody had any idea, but bro. 
you guys did and have a good 2k out. series though too right didn't you guys yeah, get, get pearl point. points in a in a 2k that's what put you like all the way up there that's what, yeah that's what got us as far as we did we yeah. actually got pro points but Which that when, i think that was one of the only times i ever got pro points when pro points weren't capped it was a it was a lose-lose situation because you felt like you had to grind for the pro points to get a decent seed but if you're grinding for pro points 95 percent of the time you were not getting good practice yep. like it was just yep. a bunch everybody was playing them so people were just playing them as normal gbs and you would just wipe the floor with kids or you would get wiped by the pro teams who were playing pro points. Yeah. What, uh, yeah. Uh, was it World War II where you had to play your five? Is that where it started, right? Yeah, yeah there's 15. Sort of thing. It was like 15 yeah. or 10 you had to play a day. Ah, that's when, trash. When let's let's skip that trash. year, brother. Yeah. Let's, oh, let's skip that year. That's <laughs> their Call of Duty. Wasn't, wasn't there a thing where no, like not. there was like some AMs or pros that got in trouble for Code Blues or something? They got like yeah, they yeah that's where Detective they... Doug came out. <laughs> what, <with> the wire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> he put a wire on, bro. Oh fuck! Who would have thought, dude? All Doug had to do was play one more GB. Wouldn't have even been a problem. Is he still on the subliners? No, no. he got released. Most house. most teams in the league cleaned house of everyone. Yeah. Except for Huntsman. Bose has still <laughs> got his shot. Uh, is it Bose? I, I thought uh I thought Hess was saying that only uh who the fuck General? Right? Is that their general? If, if if things came worse to worse, General would definitely go in. I thought Head said they were only keeping uh, one person on the bench. Bose, Bose probably, probably will get shifted to content creator. I just don't think he wants to compete anymore. Like, I think, I think he, do he has desires outside of that. Because he's really I, big into, like, the hip-hop remember, industry. Yeah. I, was like, I don't remember the last time I even watched them play. Like, at all. It's been a long Black time. Yeah. What do you guys think of uh, yeah. Seattle's team? I think it's uh, a solid roster. It's a, it's a good roster, but I don't see them beating Chicago <laughs> or Dallas or Atlanta. I think they can. I think they are championship contenders if it goes, if they don't have internal issues. Yeah, yeah I just need to see. You just need to see how the vibe. But so I thought uh, it was bad with being gunless, but I was like 15 before and they've won before together yeah all, all of them players, it'll be that all, four, all four of them are champions so and for anyone who, for anyone who's together. wondering yeah for anyone who's wondering it's yeah. the seattle surge this year is octane looney gunless and pristini yeah i, I, think, think, I think the vibes team. are i think the visors will be good too what do yeah you think, the vibes are just the biggest concern but because i think looney and gunless probably play together what are you laughing at yeah cool. <laughs> I don't think Yaku heard what? Me. What do you think? Me? Um, I think FaZe is going to be cracked. I don't know about Seattle Surge, but... FaZe will definitely be, cracked. Definitely I think, be cracked. I think Arcides is an awesome pickup for him. Obviously, Chicago didn't want to let him go, but they wanted to do his will because he wants to be a main AR, and obviously you don't want to have that that role rubbing against each other with formal and RCDs, especially going towards hopefully a more traditional style COD. Yeah. Do you I see the clip? Well, yeah, what, I think, I think the most we're going to get. The, <laughs> I think, it, were, were you about to say something about formal finding out from a stream that fucking uh, he switched the face? I think that was a troll. Oh, uh, was it? <laughs> got my yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a troll. <laughs> <laughs> The troller got the, trolled. The, wasn't it was random? It, 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 it was fucking random. I don't think it was random. Who? What? R said he's leaving. No, it wasn't random. Yeah. We said he wanted to leave because he wanted to run main AI. Well, yeah, but it was like a yeah. surprise to everyone on the team, though. I doubt it. I'm still kind of surprised. But they said that right after champs that they already out. talked. Are you saying that? I'm, I'm kind of surprised that that phase team split up because they were talking 
everything they said before Modern Warfare was how excited they were to be that group of like their S and D buddies, like they're finally all yeah. together. So I'm yeah. surprised to see them split up that quickly, especially what's after a, such a successful year. What's uh? I mean, for for Major Maniac and then between RSDs, I mean that's only an upgrade that's from there. Yeah. yeah I mean, he was the only one that you could sure. say kind of underperformed, but he would have his like for the most part, he was still solid. Yeah. In his but, underperformance was probably due to the fact that mon it was Modern Warfare. Like it was a yeah, weird, he's... fast meta. That Mike's more of a like he's a he can get cracked when he needs to, but he is like I always think fringe rock. Was it fringe? No, it was what was that map on Black Ops Three with the big rock on the outside of it? Stronghold. Stronghold. No. No, not stronghold. Wait, the the S and D map. Infected. Infected. Yeah. Infected. 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 Yeah. Infected. Yeah. Infected. There you go. Infected. That that side rock. He would just own that shit every S and D tournament in Black Ops Three. What do you guys think about uh what's what teams Major Maniac and Freestyle went to? Minnesota. Rocker. Minnesota Rocker. Minnesota. Attach an accuracy. I, I think that Still team's a going weird to be roster. trash. I think that team's gonna be trash. I mean I have, it all depends on They have like is it, there's still, is it there's still a lot of priest to attach. Yeah. Attach like wants to play main AR. He's wanted to play in the past. Main AR? What the yeah. Fuck? Uh accuracy wanted to accuracy the main AR. Uh, Major Mania, I guess your main AR. Fucking, and Priest has to do whatever. Priest is just he's he's yeah. played everything because yeah. he's been on a lot of odd teams. That's like that's like four people that I don't know who's your boy. Attaches. They've they they already confirmed that Attach is running. They've already confirmed that he's running the sub. And then the other yeah. ones it just has to depend on the meta. I mean, from I mean, it it, it it comes down to the meta too, so. They're all yeah. good players. Just need I, to don't think, I don't think that's real match. Uh, well at all. And what? Uh, New York? Definitely a weird roster. Did they announce New York yet? Uh, Three of them. It's they just don't have their fourth yet. Man. Clay Zuma yeah. and... Mac. 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 Mac then the, the rumor is like Hydra? What, that like European, French he's a, player? Or yeah, he's a, he's a Spanish player from Spain. Spanish. Oh, okay. No, yeah, he, back, was, he was the top statistical AM last season and i've seen i've seen clay talk on twitter about i've seen clay talk on twitter about how like i just remember he tweeted one time like people ask me all the time who the best am was this year and i would say hydra most people don't even know who that is people need to open their eyes that kind of stuff so and then parasite i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if they go from parasite yeah that, that man's always <laughs> i think that dude deserves to be back in the league but i don't know but he did win that throwback yeah, and he's he's still got it, like definitely, and he's one of the smartest players. He has that mental edge on a lot of, I'd say like, the newer pros, kind of like a blastful or a decimate someone like that. But there's just a lot of, I mean, his past, all the issues he's had, all the personality yeah. clashing. Yeah, and that that plays a big part in the <gasps> hitting hitting up his teammates' girl. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I also saw that John was rumored to go to New York. I forgot yep. about John. That's that would be nice. right now between John and Hydra. I think John Zuma, needs to get back in the league, but that guy's insane. Okay, yeah, he's correct. You guys, uh, you guys think Shotzi, say Cold War has like no breaking movement, do you think Shotzi still will be as good? Yeah. I think so. I think so. I he, do he's think he's just raw talent. I do think he, he might struggle. I he thought, might struggle I thought his movement was like most of his game. No way to keep up with his movement. It definitely was, so was this year. Yeah, that's how he was I, in Halo I, 5 I just, as well. I just feel like you can't really take it away from him. And then he has, uh, still he still has Krim there with him. Yeah. And, and I mean, think I about it. You, you take away the movement. I think it's going to be fun. Everybody's on, everybody's on the same playing field. Like, that's just one less thing he has to do. Now he can focus more on the strategic True. side of the game. He's going to be yeah, an he animal. Who can Illy backing him up? Yeah, that team's disgusting. Yeah. He still has his gunny. It's not, that's not going to go away. So. Yeah. I, th I think they're definitely the favorites going in, obviously, after coming off the championship win. And then you take the three-time, the GOAT, the best of all time, 
leading that squad who already has such experience after this year, they're going to be nasty no matter how the game is. So, yeah. does everybody agree with what happened with between Krim and Clay? You guys would have kept Krim instead of Clay? Yeah, unfortunately, but yeah. Clay deserves better. Yeah, I mean, it has, it has to come. It, yeah, but it has to come down to that. I mean, Krim has the resume for it. <laughs> he has yeah. three rings, most championships, most earnings. Been on every dynasty team. Yep. I mean, I it sucks. Know. That's like a that's a really hard call. I mean, it's Clay Krim. I don't know. Either way, they would have been fine. I don't know if you guys listened to Hex's podcast, his eavesdrop with. Uh, Hasho talking about it. I did. I think I did. it was this one. Or actually, it might have been. I can't remember if it was that one or if it was. It might have been the Courage and Nate Shot show with Clay and Krim. It was one of those two. But they were talking about how Hook actually wanted to step down. And yeah, I wanted, saw that. I saw that. He, he was going to try to compete in Fortnite because he wanted to I see thought. if what his maximum potential was. Because he's actually nasty with mouse and keyboard, apparently. Yeah, I heard uh, Fortnite and Valorant. Those are the two that I heard. Yeah. Should be fucking insane. This homie wants everything. He wants yeah. To be, uh, well, he didn't want. He didn't want Clay to. He didn't. Yeah. He's yeah. Just a big guy. He was just looking out for Clay. At the end of it. Yeah. But who's that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, they Ilian, know that. Ilian, uh Shotzi wouldn't let him step down. Yeah. Told him so. But. And that's that is a risky move coming from. Because right now you're in an established spot. You just came off a world championship. Like you're gonna get the salary, you're gonna get all the all the perks and benefits that come with the organization, and it's a winning organization. So they just got, they just made their bag, which is gonna translate into your bag, and it's just it's it's the safer spot. But I can see, I don't know, esports is a different realm. It's not like traditional sports. Like you you don't usually just transition from basketball into football and see where your limit is, you know, but in esports you can't yeah. do that. Yeah. What the I fuck is going that. on with Paris? I don't fucking know. <laughs> no clue. No idea. Do you guys Paris. think about the about Bruce for a second? On to Big Chicago fan. Huntsman? Big fan. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a good pickup. He'll be able to play the hybrid role with formal at main AR, and then you keep two of the best subs in the league. I think he's good, I think he's still, Oh my god! I think he's gonna learn from his ego challenge. Solo challenge. I hope he does. That's the only problem I had with him because he's he's disgusting, and he would just get like a little too overconfident in in certain situations when he would need to play his life. This man just jumps out in front of three people. Yeah. And plays like me. <laughs> I really didn't get to watch him in World War Two. That was the last four v four. Yeah, and he was. Oh, yeah, I forgot he was on complexity then. He, yeah, yeah he was watched open him. bracket with Douglas. Yeah, yeah on. Com I remember watching that. He dropped like twenty or something with the sniper in his, on a. Ardens Forest. Yeah, I just, I never got to see him four v four. Hard point stuff like that. So I don't know if his play style like changed. I think he's he just from five v five to four v four. He'll he'll still be really good. He's been playing since yeah. Black Ops Two. Like I that uh that clip always surfaces on Twitter every once in a while of him queuing up in league play against or it was like with Nate Shot and Merc and someone else from Optic and then I the lobby that. drops the lobby <laughs> drops out, yeah. But he's been playing for a long time and when you got it you got it. You just gotta yep. adapt to the new games. Yeah. I think the reason why I don't know, Black Ops 4 was just a fast-paced game. I feel like that's why you ego child a lot, because you just literally child somebody and back to 150 health instantly. Mm -hmm. I think that has dropped yeah. to his head in the end of it. Now not so cracked out movement for Cold War. Oh. I think it still will be. It also didn't help that he won the first tourney in Black Ops 4 when he joined Optic, like the biggest org, and got crazy ego from that. But... Yeah. I would have been the same way. Uh, did Optic announce their roster? It's still Slasher, Kenny, right? No, I don't even think they've announced. They they haven't announced anything official yet. No. The rumor is that it is Slasher, Kenny, and Tej, and then 
the fourth is still up in the air, but that's just from CDL Intel. What if they get John? That could be an interesting team. I don't know. Kenny runs. Flex. None of them. None of them have teamed with John except for Slasher. But they did win a chip together, so. Supposedly, yeah, almost two. Draws that Kenny and Slasher's contracts were extended, but I don't know. I think it would have to be like sub rules or something. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I do think that all the league teams definitely got put into an interesting predicament this year because of 5v5 going into franchising, and then Modern Warfare was just a really odd game in general, competitively, so you had you had a lot of AMs that came up into the game, and the game was played completely different than most CODs, especially Hardpoint and the spawn system. So you have those players who are looking for their shot, you have all these international players who didn't really get a chance this year who were sitting on the bench. You have te players like Brack in them as well. And then you cut down to 4v4, just less people have a chance. It's crazy. Do you think they should have expanded? Yeah. Uh, Marcus is yeah. in your room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just see you fucking picking your headset off. You're like, bro. <laughs> I, I wish they to cut. <laughs> I still want to see. I didn't hear a single fucking thing you guys just said. Uh, Talk okay, about okay. expanding the league. I think it was dumb that they didn't. Especially the reason why they like didn't. They're not going to expand the league because they want to prove the concept. Like, what that LAN is capable of, like caught on LAN, and that I mean, I if people are willing to invest money into the scene, just let them. Yeah, I mean that that's the part that weirds me out too is that they say that there's there's investors ready, but it's like still want to prove. We've already seen what COD is on land. I understand like with the like the league and everything. Oh, it's gonna be even better, but I don't know. It's it's, it's just stupid. Yeah. there's a reason though that we're not in charge of these million dollar decisions. So it is it is a lot of money on the line, and it's a big project that even the CEO, like the the podcast. Hex had with uh, Joanna Fariz, the president of the league, or the commissioner yeah. of the league. Yeah. She t she talked about how the CEO of Activision, Bobby Kotick, like he really wants the league to succeed, and he has a vision to make it work for. And it's it's not for it's not for like two to three years down the road. Like it's 10, 15 years, which is crazy to think that COD will still be around by then. Because I know a lot of people were thinking COD was on its last leg. Just because there's been so many titles, like they might move to a new first person shooter franchise and try to build something there. But when I uh, listen to that podcast with uh, Joanna, I, she knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. like she she has it set up right. Like I think freaking the franchise is in good hands with her. Didn't she come from the what NFL? she said? Yeah. Yes. And, and listen, listening like, to that podcast, she really she has a passion for COD. Yeah. I need to watch she it. Was, yeah, I need to watch was, it. She was saying how her family leaves her alone on game days. Yeah. You know, she's screaming in her living room or something. They know something's happened. That's cool. And yeah, it's. She knows what she's doing. I'm surprised Activision didn't expand because of, you know how. They like yeah. their money. <laughs> they like their money. So, uh, yeah. I mean, there was a. I must have a good re good ass reason. You know? I, I think there's a good chance. You know, they love their money. When they, uh, when, they, they yeah. do, when they do expand, what, what are you, who are your guys' top candidates for who you think? 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves, 100 100 yeah, thieves of sure. course. Yeah. Shit, I don't even know who else. I think it would be kind of cool to see... Uh, Cloud9. TSM. Yeah, it would be kind of cool to see Cloud9 come back. TSM is a big org. So some of those bigger bigger orgs, maybe, hopefully, like, maybe... I don't, uh, I'd I don't like know, to see... Like two or something. Yeah, I'd like to see yeah. United find the money for it because I thought United mm. was building something really special. Yeah, I'd agree. Oh uh, yeah. They just don't They're have really the capital. Good org. They don't have twenty five million capital, you know. Yeah. I wonder if like mine. Top the salaries. This could have like Australian team, you know, but uh, I don't know yeah. if it'd be like if they could being all the way down. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure. I'm travel? sure they could. I feel like when they expand the lead, I feel like we would be surprised on who gets in. 
Yeah. I feel like I, I feel like just out of nowhere, I feel like a football star that plays Call of Duty that he's just will buy a spot. He has like a I, little thing on the side. It could definitely happen. Like Rise, <laughs> I think Rise yeah. is a front runner. Yeah, front really runner. Yeah. Roger Saffold. If TK is gone. Yeah, TK is no longer. That's probably for the better. Uh, True. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> uh no. Well, what happened? What happened with them? I I know like that was uh their CEO is a scumbag, isn't there? Isn't yeah. I I don't even remember his well, name. Does owner. anyone remember the owner? Who's like Costa yeah, Fox Newt though? Yeah, Cos. Hey. Yeah, he Cos he smoked yeah, Zuma's girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot that's what it was. That shit was wild. Yep. Yo, every time predicament. Every time uh Zuma is mentioned <laughs> with like a, a girl or something, I just remember that clip of him yelling at those four girls. Oh, four uh, yeah. <laughs> that gets me every time, dude. Zuma's fucking hilarious. I Zuma's probably one of my favorite COD players. Like when he wasn't in the when he didn't make it into the league in Black Ops Four. Was it Black Ops 4? Who, what game yeah. was it where he was yelling, put away the snipe when he was watching the matches? Black Ops 4. Yeah, but oh my god, bro. That guy killed me every fucking time, dude. Mm. He's like, I don't yeah. know if the ramp the rampart should be banned. He's like, I'm just an upcoming am. And then he sees like the three pieces of it. Okay, it probably should be G. <laughs> oh, dude, he's fucking hilarious. Forgot about it. Maybe T1 gets the guy. funny. Ooh. That is a possibility. There's a lot of possibilities that I, I yeah. think, like Ted said, I don't think we're gonna really expect who no, who gets yeah. the spot. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people with money out there, and COD's still growing. And hopefully it continues get... to grow. I'm, I'm excited about I that. I think it because will grow. It's. I think this year. Oh my bad, my bad. I keep cutting. <laughs> <off. laughs> <laughs> 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 uh, when someone talks, it mutes everyone else's fucking mics or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's insane just how bad Call of Duty was, and but this is like the biggest year I've ever seen Call of Duty. All mm -hmm. these big streamers. I'm in a war zone. So many people are playing Call of Duty. Yeah, it really is all <laughs> thanks to. It's thanks to the community and thanks to Warzone because if Warzone wouldn't have come along, Modern Warfare would have died out. Even on the pub scene, even Swag, who was making hundreds of thousands of views on these ground war class setup videos, it would have died out eventually. Like right now, if he posted one, it wouldn't, it wouldn't yeah. gain traction. But hey, Warzone right. came along, built that content creation scene up you knew, to you model for two Duty. heights. You knew Call of Duty was dead when Nick Mertz wasn't playing it anymore. Yeah, that's what yeah. that shit was just. I think God Warzone got him off Fortnite, dude. I don't know how. Yeah, they, I don't know how people played yep. Fortnite for so long. It was just. It was I mean, fun. It was, I mean, it was fun, fun if you grinded it too. They, they killed themselves. They added skill based matchmaking and stuff into it, and no one likes that shit. They added bots into the game and stuff. Yeah, that, that 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 was the bots? most. That was weird. Yeah. That was the most annoying to me. I thought I'd be frying, and then someone told me it was yeah, bots. Dude, I didn't know that either. When we when we went back and played, and I'm like, bro, what is this kid doing? I'm just fucking smoking these guys, and then. Just four I run into a real player and just fucking 90, 90, quickie 90s all the way up, and I'm like, where's this dude been all game? Yeah. I don't, I don't understand that at all. So, how is, uh, how's Warzone gonna work in Cold War? I don't Are know. They... Is, is it gonna, like, have the movement of Cold War? Like, how? That's, yeah. It's that's... gonna be Cold War. So, so it's they're gonna be Cold War, separate. but Warzone. So, they're transitioning just the map over, pretty much? No, I think and... they're, I think. Cold or Treyarch's gonna have their own map. Well, I knew that they said that they were transitioning something, like because yeah, like Warzone, like the uh, like Warzone the guns, app, right? as the guns are supposed to stay. Warzone the app itself is transitioning into like a Cold War version from Modern Warfare. But, but I think I think the big questions is like gameplay wise, how is it gonna transfer over? Because Modern Warfare was definitely is built on the new Infinity Ward engine that apparently they've been working on for like 10 plus years and is buggy as hell. And then they have things like, so you have tactical sprint, the double sprint, like is that going to transition in? Because that's not in Cold War. 
doors are a thing mm. that's not in cold war like are they going to strictly <sighs> take them out because you could you run the potential of killing warzone which they don't want to do to their baby you know yeah i that that's what i don't know i just know that it's switching over but yeah i don't know because i was like where am i gonna do with all of, i just bought a freaking mp5 skin or a variant yeah and then i was like i'm gonna lose it they're gonna refund me then they said there's all the guns are sticking and stuff, so I have no idea. I don't know how they're going to do it. Think... Curious, curious to see how it comes out. Definitely. I think they'll do it just right. Are same? It. It, it, I think they really like Blackout. It definitely needs to. Okay, see, I didn't like Blackout either, but if they just transition like the base gameplay of Warzone into Cold War, because Blackout didn't see any hackers. It's because uh, it was not cross-platform. Yeah, PC was on PC. True. I forgot about that. I know, I just felt that's like just they a, did that's a just lot an more stuff. I mean, Blackout. B Blackout didn't take off on PC like Warzone did. Like, everyone was just falling Fortnite. Oh, it didn't. Part, part of that, too, is the free-to-play aspect of Warzone as well. True. 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 Hey, you had to buy Blackout. Yeah, mm -hmm. that also that also feeds into the cheater issue as well, because yep. then you can just make a free account. Yeah, yeah, it's easy I to saw, keep cheating. I saw Total Wars. <laughs> what happened with Counter Strike too? I saw Total Wars. Great, where if I'm getting tired of Warzone, I could go and play pubs. And if you get tired of like, that, you can go yeah. play some zombies. Yeah, I saw Ooh, every I aspect is. Yeah, oh. that's just the thing that I love about Treyarch is just the variety of what. You could do. They always have good challenges for pubs. And then now Warzone's a thing. Warzone's fun. I I do miss. It's like zombies supposed to be a story. When do they already have their reveal. I I believe it is tomorrow. Oh, oh shit. Hey, that. and we and we got Tony Flame who actually listens to us. Yeah. Or at least yeah, it's like transparent. Who who's who's the guy for MW? Everyone knows like they'd get uh the Josie like, Go. Last name. Josie, Josie Go. Hey yo, we getting Josie uh, Go to whatever the fuck. I'm like, uh <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. What uh what do you guys want to be the third game mode for next control. year? Control. I'd be fine with control. control. I think control's what oh, they're gonna oh. go with. I personally am a big fan of CTF, but I love CTF. I think fine. CT I think CTF's just a thing of the past and COD. It seems like it's getting pushed out. Yeah. Shouldn't that's be. That's the thing I like playing, that I, I don't think like spectating wise, I think CTF's kinda of boring, but playing it's fun. See, yeah, I think like close matches think... CTF. It's close matches when one person when one team pulls and the other team pulls, it's the most intense fun thing yep. ever. I don't know. It I, could I, be, I, but I sometimes it could get boring team. because they're just sitting there. Stale stalemates. Yeah. Stale yeah. Stalemates on our You're playing it, it could be fun. CTF. I don't know. Everything's better than domination, so. Oh, bro. That Blitz, map was yeah. so bad. better than Dom. Fucking control, uplink, capture the flag. Everything's better than Dom, so. I, just, I think CTF takes, like, I don't know. It's a lot of thinking. That's why I, that's mm -hmm. why I like about yeah. CTF. Like, you have to. I would agree with you. Like, think about when you're going to shoot somebody or let them pass you. Get yeah. a sne sneaky pull. Getting you know, cut just, off for teammates and stuff. Yeah. Figuring yeah, out which, you, yeah, which way to pull, you know, which, yeah. when they're going to spawn. It's just... You de definitely communication is heavy on that because you need to know who has what lane and if the lane's open or not. And if no one fucking communicate, communicates that, then someone's in your spawn pulling a flag, so... Yeah, yeah. keeping track of players. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why I, I'd much rather have CTF out of all the day modes. I would have link the yeah. same thing, but I wouldn't mind with control. Like, uplink is not the same thing. I, I think it'll be interesting just with throwing the flag. I guess you can oh. pass it off. I guess you can <laughs> oh. pass it off. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> well, well, you have trash. It's, it's, it's literally capture the flag is the same thing as uplink, except you can't throw the flag. Like uplink, you can like throw mm, the flag. But uplink, uplink, oh, you got I the uplink, you got the ball. ball. You got the ball in the middle. I it's, guess it's basketball. Uh, up, up Link was a really good third game mode. It's just tough to implement. Only, I think it's for jetpacks. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, tough, for yeah, jet yeah. Packs. it's tough, to, tough to implement I, without jetpacks. I feel like they still could have given it a better shot. I don't think Gridiron in World War Two did it justice. Oh, that shit sucked, bro. I think I think there was still there's still potential that it could work, but I don't think it'll ever get tried in a boots on the ground COD. Yeah, you're probably right. 
Yeah. That's one of the trash. things I've been trying to accept too is these certain uh, Call of Duties being the thing of the past because we always go back and look at Black Ops 2, always look at Modern Warfare 2. It's like it's not going to be the same because we happened. always talk about no movement. Let's just jump, prone, crouch, and we'll be fine. But it's we're gonna have. They're always gonna have a dive, a slide, something. Yeah. Just with a dolphin dive. Think of the past. I, mean, I, I need. I need dive. to accept it. Yeah, but I mean, it was not like like the World War Two had their dive, but it was sure. like fast. Yeah, you could just dive Same. across the map over and over. I think that's one of the things I've just been trying to let go to help me enjoy more CODs, at least newer CODs. Just accepting that it's moving past those those good uh those good times in Call of Duty. I think that's Except one interesting that's one interesting dichotomy around console the console FPS games that we have in Call of Duty and Halo kind of being the biggest ones that ever reached their peak and then you have the PC FPSs of like Counter Strike and now Valorant. You had Siege, those kind of games. They're all like slower paced. There's no advanced movements. It's all about counter strafing, strafing, hitting your shots, not moving while you're shooting, that kind of stuff. But on the console side, it's it's moved to like quicker movement. Everybody wanted before AW was a thing. Everybody wanted that advanced movement. People wanted to be dashing side to side and wanted jetpacks. And then now Halo, I've seen over the past week or so, they've been in a big conversation about whether they should keep playing Halo 3, whether they should play Halo 5 until Infinite comes out because Infinite might not be coming out till December of 2021. Yeah. So, and even Summit got in on that yeah. conversation. Yeah, talk, I was talk, just talking about that. Yeah, talking about how all the old halos are just a thing of the past. It's nostalgia. They need to be pushed out and moved. We need to move towards this like advanced movement, more fun thing. And I just, I don't know. I don't know the answer, I guess, because I have love hate with both for sure. Advanced movement and non advanced movement. I did agree with him, from like a spectator standpoint. It's like you in Halo 5, you could definitely see who's, who's the shit and who's not. Yeah, from Halo Three. I mean, everybody's everybody's kind of the same, blah blah blah. But yeah, when you go and watch Frosty play, like this man's doing all these crazy dash movements and stuff, and one tapping people, and it's like you could tell that he's fucking, he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Then in Halo Three, everybody's kind of everybody's kind of the same. But there, you definitely if you play the game, you know who's better. But from a spectator standpoint, it all looks the same. Yeah. And I think that will always be a hard bridge to get or a hard gap to bridge because the casual side of gaming is never going to get i mean they might a few might get into competitive just like we did we were all casual gamers at one point we got into the competitive scene and we started to learn about what separates pros from the regular player but most of them they're not ever going to invest in that so it has to be something they can see they can see the action that's why I think they push specialists so hard in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4. They want You want that instant gratification for the viewer rather than having to know that JCap just made the play by going here and blocking the spawn even though he didn't shoot his weapon. The yeah, casual yeah. gamer is not going to ever know that. But the, I feel like the casters, casters should call that out and stuff too, don't they? Yeah. I yeah. Mean, like I personally they prefer, could really I prefer so this. I prefer this skill coming naturally rather than being forced on by the developers. Yeah. Nostalgia is a bitch, man. <laughs> True. See, I was... Because... With the jetpack, I was fine with, like, the boosting jump into the air. I think it went overboard when wall running became a thing. I was fine with just jumping in the air. Mm -hmm. I was fine with the AW dash from left, right, front, back. I got that. Broke people's ankles. Yeah, that was fucking elite. Like, that was yeah. nice. It's like... Everybody could do it. It's not like you had to press like three different buttons in order to fucking slide cancel to beat somebody around the corner. It's like you could dash to the corner. Everybody had that like in their arsenal. Uh, and then wall running became a thing. And fucking people were doing routes underneath the map. That shit just that got out of hand with the wall. Hey, Rex on old fucking Redwood. Yeah, fuck. 
I feel like that's easily patched though. Like it's yeah, you can blame wall running, and then it was severely limited in the next title because which IW it did work. Yeah, I did. Wait, that's wait. what I was gonna say. I mean, I got wall three. There's yeah. no cap on what you can wall run. <laughs> Um, IW capped it and IW, I don't know. It's not, it's, I In, it's Infinite weird. Warfare is one of the biggest anomalies in COD, I believe, because it was not a game. it was not a fun game casually. I'm I'm a pub star, no. I love playing pubs. Yeah, weapon variance, and yeah. the game was horrible. Competitive it was actually pretty enjoyable and they they actually listened to quite a few fixes from Black Ops three into IW, which like like we said, the wall running. They didn't have as many exploitive spots with that. And then there's something else that I always think of that they like they nailed right off the bat. It was a blast suppressor. They didn't have you didn't have to put blast suppressor on. It was built in, yeah. which was a crutch that people had been wanting since like the start of AW. So they've listened yeah, on a I few forget. things, but they just it was an incomplete game. One of the most incomplete games that's ever been released from the franchise, for sure. Oh, I remember playing the beta. I mean, the beta was just eh. Then I was like, all right, day one, let's go, full games out. And I was like, bro, I'm still playing the beta. Like, what is <laughs> Nothing yeah. changed from the beta. <laughs> and that was their but first was so weird. On we the didn't have year cycle, board. too. They had more years yeah. and they did less. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, that's why I never understood. Never understood why it, they got ever since they got an extra year when they added sledgehammer. I was like, oh, they're going to be able to get more time in. It's going to be even better now than games that just came out. Were just not yeah. it from that cycle. <laughs> yeah, they had some extra stupid shit. And they started it, thinking too much. And it seems like they don't release with as many maps right off the rip as they used to. Like, I think Modern Warfare 2 released with 17 maps in the default. Jesus. And then World War 2 released with, like, like We're not, out here getting nine. It was, like, yeah. nine or something. And then there's war, <laughs> war maps and stuff. They always just try to do stuff with other modes. That's just so like, frustrating as a competitive player. Out here getting nine maps, and I only play three of them. Yeah. It's repeating. Like Modern that's Warfare, even. That's what... Yeah. Like when they care about the spectators so much, but when you're sitting there watching fucking Ramaza Hardpoint, Ramaza S and D, and this yeah. over and over, and it's like that. That's one thing that is care kind of that much boggles my mind about like DS. It's been the same map, like over and over and over. I mean, I understand like they rework them just a tiny bit, but they don't change them that much. And it's been the same maps for years. And it's just, I don't, like, if I was a player, I feel like I'd get so fed up and bored with the same maps constantly. I don't know. I don't know how they do it in CSGO. It's different because the game is so strategic. You can come up with different strategies, even though the maps are the same. But uh, Meta has changed a lot in CS. Like, if you go watch CS from five years ago, not the same CS you're seeing now. People are, I don't know. This is... Really different. Yep. Now they cheat. Yeah, <laughs> they've been cheating for a decade. <laughs> Optic India. <laughs> oh, we almost fought the fucking ref because <laughs> he wanted to look at his computer. <laughs> we pulled the Bruce Lee right here. Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think mental deserves a spot on gorillas? I think a sub spot. Yeah. I think, I think a sub, sub spot's fine. perfectly fine. Yeah. yeah. Over like some of these veteran pros who aren't getting spots because of that. That's that's on a GM taking a risk, honestly. Like I think it's a, yeah. mental's a champion. We've seen it with Halo. We've seen it with Formal. We've seen it with Shotzi. We've seen it with Hook. Players can shift over to Call of Duty. And I think he'll be able to do that and be able to compete. But like I see, I understand why people are angry, and they just have to understand they gotta fight for their spot as well. Yeah, that's complaining's not gonna help. One thing Hex always said is, there's especially in or like in any sport, there's always those youngers, those younger people that are gunning for your spot, and you gotta want it. Yeah. 
doesn't matter what your what your stock is or whatever. You still gotta want it and you still gotta play for it. And we've seen it with multiple people come from different titles, and I don't I don't see a problem with it. I think it'd be kind of interesting if he does actually play. I want to see what he's like. I want to see him play. Yeah, for sure. Because he's nasty at games. I think that's he... part of the reason Gorillas might have picked him up too. Build some controversy, get some eyes pointed towards them because they are they are the lowest on the totem pole currently in terms of social media exposure and branding and all that. So, yeah. What were you saying, Yaku? I cut you off there. He's, he's still competing in gears, right? He's just yeah. I think he just I th- moved to a sub spot, but yeah. yeah, I think he he just finished up because Gears is kind of in a lull right now, I believe, right? Yeah, I don't even know. I think they've been in a lull for the past seven years. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. They talk a lot of trash, but That's about it. I, I like their trash talking. Yeah, it's I fun to watch. Those boys are wild. So, like ex- explosives, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh man, something else. I love their trash talking. Oh. I never really got into the gear scene because I never played. I never played the game dedicatedly. I just I touched saw, it a couple of times. I only saw highlights of when off the tower team. Yeah, that's that's pretty much right. Yeah. I just yeah. watched a little bit of it is when off the vision. Yeah. I miss vision. I saw yeah, I the vision. For... I love people getting hyped for Mexico. That's I think that's what I miss. The optic house, bro. Oh. True. And it's probably team houses are kind of becoming a thing of the past as well because just yeah. all the the internal problems behind the scenes that went on between people and you got you got to have your time away from from your teammates and from because yeah. you're clashing heads and getting heated all the time and you you walk out your room and you see them again like that's not the best <laughs> dynamic. <laughs> fucking fist fights. Yeah. Who who got on a? It was a uh, um flame sword and who else? They kind of like, but they, they they fought like a tiny, like an actual like fight fight. I forgot who it was. I think I think it was flame sword and crim six or something. Maybe. Oh yeah 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 yeah. That's right. Remember? Sam came down the stairs and threw that shit like right yeah. next to his head. Yeah. And Flamesford got mad and charged them, and they started yeah. like wrestling. I was like, "Oh god." Apparently, Hex was talking one of the, on one of his podcasts about one time, or one of the things he, because he always hides certain things, obviously because he doesn't want to get too personal into people's lives that he's yeah. teaming with and such. And when Formal and Skump first teamed during the Dynasty runs, towards the end of it, apparently one of them got so mad that they punched a wall because they were arguing over who should get to upload this gameplay, this duo gameplay that they had to YouTube. I remember that. Yeah. Mike's is saying they should just both upload it since it's two different point of view. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which, but that That's what they said is... now. They should have... It... <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was Nate Shot. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, it was Nade Shot. It was Nade Shot and Skump. Yeah. Oh, was, really? You must have. Yeah. That was crazy. They always say that they used to wake up, try to wake up earlier than each other, just first time that got on to stream. Got like yeah. the extra uh, thousand or yeah. whatever viewers. But that was the oh, beginning shit, that's of where, the... Yeah. yeah, that's where it all started. Beginning of the Twitch rise of COD. Yeah. That's crazy. You can't really, you can't really blame them, though. I mean, they weren't making any money, and then... You're just trying to catch a bag. That was yeah. that was the start. That was the hustle. The hustle era. Mm. That's what I want. I want COD oh. teams to start releasing how much they pay their players and stuff like they're doing in CS:GO now. It would be, be fun to see. It would be cool to know. It's such oh, it's such a touchy yeah. top topic for some people. I think. I don't know if it's in other countries as much, but in America, I feel like income is just a touchy subject for some people. Some people don't want to talk about it, and whether. Whether they're making a lot or making little, it's just a a pride thing or not wanting, um, not wanting others to know like, hey, you're making the bag, so I'm just gonna be your friend because of that or something. Yeah. Well, who do you think's the highest paid player in CDL? Scum. Probably scum. Um. Scum, Clayster, Crim, maybe I don't know. 
Yeah, I think Clay Wherever. and Krim probably not, just because they probably took pay cuts to put that team together. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Because they have the buyout champ thing. Uh, yeah. Scump, Scump, Scump probably Scump or Farmall. I think Farmall just a bad, too. Oh, oh he for sure does. Yeah. Hex, Hex treats his boys good. Yeah. Uh, but Scump's his day one, so you already know he's going to... He has Scump, a max. Yeah. Yeah. Super was, max. I was, I was watching one of Hex's videos. They were doing, like, a... A trivia, uh, Huntsman trivia. They were saying who's the highest paid player, and Hess was over here pointing at Scump like this. He's like, <laughs> talking about everything. <laughs> I wonder how much he gets because Cloudman released that like two other players for three years get like 1.6 mil and 1.5 mil mm -hmm. for three years. So I don't know, like, how that transition over. But you can't even just take his salary, like, this guy, YouTube videos, yeah. streaming, fucking yeah. Oh, and that, that's the thing. Of, on, yeah. That's the thing about Scump too is when he retires from competing, he's probably gonna secure an even bigger bag, honestly. Oh, bro. If he and if he goes straight to content creation, he's gonna explode. Oh, yeah. Dude, I hope I hope when he retires, I hope he. I know it's probably. I don't know. It might happen, but I hope he signs with hundred thieves as a content yes. creator. Yeah. So that's what I hope. So. Shot said that he'd sign him instantly. Oh, bro, I'd love it. I'd love to see it. I would the duo back together just making bank. Yeah. <laughs> the content would be amazing yeah, too. Content Scum's just a hilarious dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh, what, 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 what? I love these fucking scum people. You know, the fucking little. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how does it go? How does it go? I forgot. I can't see him, bro. What is he doing? Is he <laughs> doing the. <laughs> oh, the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot how it goes. I don't know like, what are you doing over there? So you gotta make it clap. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh, bro. Definitely a big scum fan. I think he's come a long ways too. He, he went I think through he his. Still he still has it for sure. Yeah, and he went through his little, his immature little, little young kid stage and got that out of the way. And now he's definitely one of the more. More mature people in the scene. It's cool to That's see. Crazy. It's cool to That's see that transition. Better. Yeah. That he said what he said last year, two to three more years was his. Yeah. His expectation. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna so be a if, sad day. If if this year goes well and next COD is looking iffy, he he might just pull the trigger. This could be the last one. Yeah. Be the Any final round. Because I think yeah, he's just signed for this year. I'm pretty sure. Yep. So too. We can only hope for some good cods. <laughs> it's a struggle. We can stay a little longer. Who makes next on Sledgehammer? No, I think Infinity. No, they're out. I Infinity think, War. They, they I don't know. I don't. I don't think Sledgehammer's out. Out. I don't what, know. Then Sledgehammer would be this year then, right? Instead of. Well, no. Yeah, so, no Sledgehammer. Be... Sledgehammer was supposed to be this year, yeah, but they got. Um, they got the project yoinked from them because of some internal struggles they were having. So Activision just said, "Hey, Treyarch's gonna make this year, make this year's COD. You guys figure your stuff out." So what? So only got two years now to make their. It was, it, was, it was like one and a half, which might be a blessing. Yeah, we're back to the. <laughs> we're back to the good days. Oh, 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 it God. was. It was. It was mostly good. Ghost. Ghost was still in that cycle. Ghost wasn't good. Oh, I still, I still enjoyed Ghost before the Vector became like the thing, like the Mtar. That was pretty fun. Respawn. I mean, it was just faster, and then the Vector slowed everything down. Soon. And it killed really, really, really fast. I, I didn't like Ghost Respawn because of it was Domination. Domination yep. sucks. And, and then Blitz. Blitz was... It sucks, but it was still... F that was when I was still coming coming up it yeah. was my actual first competitive year i was learning stuff and i learned respawn was still fun Shit, i, I, thought, I, I, I don't like I domination i was just no, running fine. around with clan v clan oh my god with some guys i went to school with dude i thought it was something i thought it was elite yeah, brian, didn't even know brian about, was a didn't random know competitive i didn't i think i found out about competitive 
in the off season. Yeah, because uh, right before I, did, I was my first. Uh, I showed you. Uh, I showed you the X Games. Yeah. And Ghost and Brian was like, "Why don't they just shoot through the wall? Like, like <laughs> they know they're they know they're there." <laughs> Dude. Dude, it was my first time knowing about competitive. Don't worry, that's why Maven goes over yeah. for new people like that. <laughs> yeah. Just a no, reminder, they, can't see, they can't see them. Yeah, then AW was my first competitive game. Had to buy Xbox One. Fucking loved it. He, he finally made the switch. I started off, I started off really slow, AW. Then at the end, I fucking turned it up. I had to sun you. We yeah. started grinding custom games, bro. We were playing 2v2s. That used to be, that, that was the funnest shit yeah, ever. I, Brian under my wing, I said, bro, let's play. Yeah, I did all summer. <laughs> I know a lot. The funny, rest was history. I went to sleep. <laughs> I was only just playing dark. Uh, no, I was looking up my... Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I was, not, I was checking how many games I played in Ghost, because that's when I started. Competitive. Well, I Looking at your yeah. GB letter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how I started. I don't even Dude, think I'm out of That was one of low key, that was one of the most fun spans in gaming that I ever had was when mm. at the end of AW, obviously they switched exclusivity over to PlayStation. So I bought a PlayStation 4 and Ethan also bought one and we play, we started playing with Yaku and Subby, who they'd been on PlayStation for for their whole lives and that stuff and we went over and played with them, and we went on a 47-game win streak in AWGBs. Yeah. And it's just like, like it was just GBs, but it was still just the most fun because we were like, yeah, we're dominating everyone. Like this is the best. But that was, that was it's fun. it's still knew, so so insignificant, but yeah, I knew times. you weren't on my 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 and Xbox ladder. On a different <laughs> yeah. Bro, AW was a started competitive it was a struggle for me i i think i uh you? my very first competitive game it was me marcus jacob and i forgot who the fourth was but i think i went like 15 or 40 my first competitive game it was fucking trash dude i didn't yeah, even know what i was but doing the thing brian caught up fast but like it took me the end of black ops 2 and majority of ghost to really start Seen really good improvement. This man did it in a game. <laughs> like we, I was filthy, but Brian was filthy. Like this guy, last... we would play two v twos and shit. Like, oh my god, what is he doing to me? Damn, what happened, Brian? I haven't had, I haven't had fun. <laughs> <laughs> there hasn't been a Call of Duty that I wanted to play on a daily basis. AW, AW, I could literally go to school, fuck in. Get off, take like an hour nap, play all the way until like two o'clock in the morning, sleep for like three hours, go to school, do the same thing over again. And it was literally every single day. AW was literally my favorite Call of Duty. It is yeah, your favorite? Uh, from a playing point wise, yes. Don't listen I to him. I think that's. Agree with you. A -Dub was, I think that's three of them in here. Three of them in here. Yep. Bro, AW is. AW, what? Well, People I'm say because that's what that's what started it. That's what started it's, like it's the whole rough year and stuff. But the stuff you could do in that game, bro, the dashing and mm -hmm. oh, I would break some. I would break some ankles. Mine was just yeah. I would just be shooting somebody and then you start getting shot like that doorway and somebody's behind you. You boost back like past them and freaking punch him in the face you're just like Boom. i mean ob yeah. obviously <laughs> obviously obviously it took a lot of skill doug sensor martin won so it's a high skill right. cod it's time yeah. all right dude. hope you guys enjoyed the podcast uh brought up doug sensor martin <laughs> calling it i'm gonna go eat fucking jet ski oh. did, did you think so Doug's gonna be dominant if jet skis are impending hey yeah yeah he's he's trying to be like the pros this is why he's one of those guys. Wait, no, dude, just... Who even started that? Like, why do people do that? Why do people think they're? It's lighter. Astros? Isn't it lighter? That's what I think. It's yeah. lighter. I don't need them. I don't have like a design or anything on them. I think it's it... a fucking huge ass difference. <laughs> I don't even know why. I, don't, I just I don't took them off because I just took them off. I don't think it does anything. It was just a trend for a little while. 
I don't know why. Yeah, I didn't even know there was a trend. I just I fucking. Maybe like somehow like I mean... your headset a lot. I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, why are people taking their fucking? Tablets I have them like here, but like, what? Is, what is it? It's just, it's just gray. Like, what is? I don't know. Yeah, you, don't... yours look cooler with a mop because you got the little gold square in the middle. I just didn't see hey, it. Well, I guess we can, we I guess Yaku can... has the same ones. Yaku has the yeah, same we're, ones. We twin and G. I can't see, but yo. I'm the only one without Astros. I've got the <laughs> HyperX. <laughs> I'm a PC kid. I want to be a full time PC kid. That's wild. It is wild. It's I never thought I'd see the day <gasps> where I I used to talk I used to talk trash on PC, but I was I was naive. I was ignorant. I didn't know. And then I got to the point where I was like. I started to understand it. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. And then I got one and I understood because once you have that 144 hertz, you can change your FOV. You can customize like every single setting. Obviously, you can use keyboard and mouse. Like, it's just no wonder the talent ceiling is so high in these PC first person shooters. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, dude, I'm so excited. Save. My baby needs to get here. So it's gonna be nice not playing freaking forty frames per second. True. Oh, dude, I like Warzone is so like weird for me. When I'm inside, like in a small room, oh, it looks perfect. I don't even know what like. When I go when I go outside, bro, it's not fun. I'm not. I'm not even sure like normal multiplayer. I'm sure you're gonna get a lot more frames on normal multiplayer because the maps are gonna be smaller compared oh, yeah. to Warzone, obviously. So it's gonna be even more fluid. So. But Warzone, yeah, text takes a lot. Yeah. I was watching some YouTuber, I can't remember who it was, but they had, like, their FPS counter on. And in Warzone, they were getting, like, 120 or something frames. And then they played a multiplayer match on Modern Warfare, and they were getting, like, 220. It was, like, 100 more frames. So now just play normal hopefully, multiplayer. Hopefully the next COD is better optimized. Yeah, it too, enhanced so. better. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it will be, because they, and they, they should have known about the PC... Um, transition for the cdl so i'm sure it's gonna be yeah like like mike said in the reveal he sounded the lead that was the yeah. pc lead right the Beanox lead i think so yeah like it. He, he sounded pretty he sounded confident in what he was saying i was it kind of got me hyped about, but i trust i didn't him. know what he was talking about i was like bro just get on with this stuff and then like two days later they announced it's going to pc and i was like all yeah. right i probably should have listened <laughs> what, what did you say again <laughs> yes I, so, so it's like running on direct x 12 now or some I, I don't know how that mm -hmm. correlates to how the game runs but you could repeat what he says and i still won't understand yeah, so. i don't know <laughs> my now you, you, you're into code so. i don't know if you know about any of that can you train like brain tootle yeah the what like i got lost do you know anything about direct x like 12 oh, direct how, x 12 like, different yeah i mean it's just Direct X is like a graphical engine, so okay. We've been so, on eleven. So... We've been on eleven for a while, so twelve is just the new generation, and that's. I think Direct X is a generic thing. I don't think that's just. That's. I don't think it's just a COD thing. That's like a gaming engine. Yeah, that's yeah. a, a generic one. So, I, I know it, sh it should up, be pretty stable. Start up civilization. You can choose between <laughs> Direct X ten or like eleven or some shit. Yeah. And then I think OpenGL is like the competitor to that, or like the opposite. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's all complicated. We, we we still have a lot to teach these these console plugs. Yeah, I'm gonna need help setting up my new PC. Yeah. Yeah. You lost we're me. Gonna, at we're, X gonna, we're gonna run up that XMP profile and hope. Well, yeah. Well, we'll Higgs, Higgs well, Higgs doesn't crash. Southies doesn't crash. Uh, well, yeah, but computers got unlucky, but I think I think I just have I don't know if my motherboard handles the speeds or something. Maybe, but that might not but be also speed. but also your RAM speeds don't technically matter. Like it's just no, but I mean you you pay for thirty two hundred megahertz. I'm trying to get my motherfucking thirty two hundred megahertz. Yeah, yeah, but I'll I'll be I'm working right. on I'm getting all yeah. the info info together for you guys. I'm gonna make a video so we can. <laughs> I just just made sure my my RAM had RGB lighting. That's all. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make. <laughs> hey, we're gonna have to make sure they're yeah, make the they download. Uh, to make sure they actually enable. Cause what Southie didn't do when Southie first got his PC, and his friend from Walmart, they didn't enable uh 144 hertz on like the Nvidia control panel, and they were playing on 60 hertz. Like, yeah, bro, this is 10 times better, and they weren't. They're still playing at 60 hertz. So I was like, yeah. 
so I'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll get all that stuff figured out and yeah also also try to have a plan in place so you guys can just like keep your pcs clean and that kind of stuff because it's important like file wise and just not downloading very nice yeah. shit yep so your pc I'm gonna try what if there's like a lit video that i like watching <laughs> maybe for fun activities no that's never mind that, that's what that's what you got your current pc for <laughs> Hertz, <laughs> you see that ass clap in 144? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking dry. Oh. To say hi. Hi, hi. 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 Uh, I like the, I like the big <laughs> idea. Um, yeah, we don't really have an intro. Hi. Uh, nah, I don't know. Breaking through. Ooh, this is what we do. We everyone has a uh, breaking through. You know how we're breaking through, all right? So everyone has cardboard boxes in the back. To their setup. And then we sit down. These on like Fridays or something. Yeah. Some drinks. Definitely do it on the weekends. Uh, not, 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 uh, not to get fucked up. It just happened. <laughs> We're going for I'm three like, hours. We're just sloshed. I was like, "Fuck my fucking ex." Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you waiting for, bro? I was getting my face ready, bro. Okay. This, this man did the High School Musical. <laughs> <laughs> Warming up, dude. You gotta keep these. We gotta have some outtakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take videos. Boom. You. All right. Aqua. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome. Hold on. I for, I choked up. I choked. Welcome. Have, welcome having a B, I had a B. Hold on. I had a B rabbit moment. Dude, I can't do that. <laughs> Just leave, all, just, just leave all the three. This, this should just be the whole, whole, whole intro oh my God. or a whole outro. Oh. Wait, are we going to do it? What's our outro? We don't have, I don't know. I let's, let's, get, let's, get, let's get through let's the, just intro do the intro first. first. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> 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 I felt like a pirate, bro. <laughs> I was like, oh, Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> 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 Why do you Irish scum? <laughs> this man was an NPC in Skyrim. Tuning in to the breaking, tuning in to the breaking, breaking two podcast. Thumbs <laughs> up, you fucking fuck. <laughs>